Welcome back to Watashi no Kanji. Today we're going through some nature oriented kanjis. Starting off first off, we have flower. It's pronounced Hana. It has a little crown with a needle and what looks like a seven. It's the crown itself is used in a lot of other kanjis and then it's usually referred to as a flower. Next up we got mountain. It's pronounced Yama and it looks like a mountain range or just one mountain if you prefer. Next up we have river, which is pronounced Kawa. It just looks like the flow of river with three lines going down. Fourth up we got rain, pronounced Ame. It's hard to really pinpoint this one, but you could see it as either a window with rain stains on it or like a cloud having the rain fall down below it. Next we have snow, which has the rain kanji inside of it on top and then the E, pronounced Yuki. Next up we got sky, which is pronounced Sora. The way I was told in a kanji book is that this is supposed to be a roof with a hole in it shining down upon a blacksmith's work table. And I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it's kind of a weird uh, sentiment. Next up we got heaven, pronounced ten. And it's kind of like the staircase to heaven, that's how I see it. Then we have ocean, pronounced umi. And it has the building block of water on the left side. And what they call the needle, but on the sideways, and then finally rice field. Following that, we have fish, pronounced sakana, which is a little weird squiggly line with the rice field, and then four little things below. You can kind of see it as a jellyfish or something with a little hat. Finally, we got spirit, like high spirit, not like a ghost, and it's pronounced ki. It's got a needle a line, a roof, and a cross. And that would be all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.